Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new around here, I would love for you to subscribe. Um, so just click the subscribe button and click on the little bell as well and it will show you a notification every time I put a video up. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you all the seeds that I'm going to be planting out really, really soon. I've already started some seeds because it is February now and um, I'll show you those. I've got them upstairs by my bedroom window because it's the room where I get the most natural light through the window. So they're all kind of on my chest drawers in my bedroom. I will show you those in a moment. I thought I would go through all the seeds and things that I'm going to plant at my allotment this year. I haven't um, managed to get to the allotment this week because my daughter Alice has been unwell um, but I'm going to hopefully get there tomorrow because there's a couple of things that I really need to get in the ground um, as soon as possible and I also now have a poly tunnel so I can actually grow things under a cover away from the frost away from you know ice and frost and whatever else Ugh, why am I eating my hair whatever else it is that kills plants basically I now have a poly tunnel and I can protect my plants which is very exciting it also prolongs my growing season as well apparently because I can grow right into next winter which is really exciting so I am an absolute seedaholic I've got so many here it's insane um, I'm not going to grow all of them so I'm just going to talk you through the ones that I'm actually going to grow um, I think I've collected these like over the years from like magazines I buy a lot of gardening magazines you get free seeds with them um, I've also picked them up in like um, garden centres if I've seen them on offer um, B and Q, places like that. Morrison's, I got a couple of them from Morrison's because they just had like seeds as you walk in. Um, so yeah, I've got way too many, but I'm going to talk you through the ones I'm going to grow. So I'm going to start with flowers. I'm going to start with two um, flowers that I need to get in the ground ASAP, fingers crossed tomorrow if I can get there. Um, the first one are Dahlia tubers, and I got the um, pom pom mixed ones and I think these are the colours they're going to come in orange yellow and pink I assume because that is what is on the packet but you never know um yeah and these are my dahlia tubers my bed for the dahlias is almost complete I've got a big pa a bag of like fresh compost waiting for me at the allotment plot um just to dig in and make sure that it's really rich and ready for them um it says I can plant them out from February uh, in full sun so I've got a bed ready for them. I'm going to get these in the ground. These are going to be so nice. And I've got oh, so many tubers. They're two pound. I got them from Wilkinson's. You get so many in this. And apparently each one just gives you loads and loads of flowers. So it flowers March to June. No, plant it March to June. Flowers July to September. I think it will probably flower a lot longer. I saw a lot of dahlias flower, flowering in like November, like early December in my plot. And um, because obviously we're in London, so it's quite warm here. So I need to get those in ASAP. I also picked up these from Morrison's yesterday. These are gladioli, tutti frutti variety. Um, these are bulbs and they can go in the ground now. I really love these. I love because I'm doing, oh, where's the camera? I'm doing um, cut flowers and I just want loads of different colored flowers. I'm not going for any kind of theme. So they need to get into the ground ASAP. I've already started my sweet peas. The ones that I am doing are these ones, summer sizzlers. I like these, these smell really nice. I'm sure they all do, but I love how like rich and dark colored they were. I grew them last year in my garden, love these. These are so easy to grow as well, aren't they? Um, so I've already started those upstairs. I've also started my Black Eyed Susan as well. Got these free with a Gardener's World magazine um, a few months ago actually, I think. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna, I've started those already upstairs. Um, I've also started my Cosmos flowers. Um, Cosmos looks like these. Um, I really love Cosmos. They're like great big bushy flowers, aren't they? And then the flower heads kind of look like they're floating. So I love them. So I'm doing the Sensation mix, which is the classic Cosmos mix. And I'm also doing Cosmos Dwarf Sensation mix, which I, I'm guessing, assuming, are just smaller flowers. There you go. So I started those already upstairs. Um, I've also got some hollyhocks. Um, I really love these, I really want to grow them, but they don't actually flower until the, the following summer. So if I start them now and like sort them out and, and move them on and whatever, pot them on, they won't flower until next year, next August. But I'm going to start them this year because they look amazing. I've got some zinnias, I've got two different packets. I've got the purple ones because Alice loves purple flowers. I thought she could plant these ones and I've got the the mixed ones, Sprite mixed, um, love zinnias. Again, they're kind of like dahlias. I just like them. I think they'll go quite nicely with the dahlias as well. Um, obviously, I've got 
sunflowers, got two different varieties of sunflowers. Um, so I've got the Mezula F1, which are kind of smaller, I think they're like, um, so yeah, slightly smaller sunflowers, so I'll be able to pick them a bit easier. And I've got the giant sunflowers, full sun. These would be great for the kids. These are really fun. I'm going to put them by the shed, so hopefully they'll like tower over the shed. So that will be really fun. Then I've got a couple of things here. I've got some beetroot. I've got all the different coloured beetroot. I thought that might be quite fun to grow. Beetroot is really easy to grow. And again, I'm going to grow this outside um, in, the, in this summer. And then when it gets too cold, I'm going to do another batch of them inside my poly channel. Um, but I think they are quite hardy, actually, beetroot. They're, they're, again, these are really easy to grow. They just kind of do their own thing. Um, I've got some turnips, which I don't think I need to start yet. I don't start these till April, um, but I thought these would be quite nice. Salads that I've got, I've already started my cucumber upstairs, and this is the cucumber I'm growing this year. It's the Telegraph Improved. Is that really what it's called? Telegraph Improved? Crazy, right? That's what it's called, Telegraph Improved. Why have you thought of that name? Um, yeah, these are going to go in my poly channel. Um, I've never grown cucumbers before. I've grown a lot of courgettes. Not doing courgettes this year because whenever I grow courgettes, I grow way too many. Um, I can't seem to kill any of them. Like if I grow too many, I can't pull one up because I just feel really guilty. I feel like I'm killing it. So I ended up with like way too many courgettes last year. It was courgette madness. So doing cucumbers this year because the guinea pigs can eat these. So if we have too many cucumbers, you'll be happy guinea pigs, won't you? Got some uh, salad onions, spring onions, whatever you want to call them. These are the white Lisbon ones. They are winter hardy as well. So, um, oh crap, I was supposed to sow those in like September, October. Alright. These ones, chard, Swiss chard. Always wanted to grow Swiss chard. Never grown it before. This looks really exciting. You can grow these straight outdoors in March, March, maybe April. Um, I think they look so pretty and I think they're really nice in the autumn time when they come through because they sort of, yeah, they're ready to harvest in the autumn time. So I love these. These are going to go near my flower beds to keep up the colour in the plot. Um, lettuce. I have this variety of lettuce which is mixed green leaves. This looks very easy to grow. I'm going to do a little bit of these in the raised beds and then a couple in some containers as well. Love lettuce. Um, I've got some spinach. Again, the guinea pigs love spinach, and I think this is a really easy thing to grow as well. So summer spinach, you grow it out from March. March, April, May, or June, you can grow this. So I'm going to succession grow this, probably, so that I always have spinach coming. So yeah, there we go, spinach. What else have I got? Carrots, carrots. Got to grow carrots. So the carrots I've got, are sh I haven't done these ones before. The only carrots I've ever grown are the Nant. Nant variety, which is apparently really easy, but they've always been really, really small and just not very exciting. So I've gone for these ones, which is the Chantenay Red Cord 2 variety. These are supposed to be really big. These are like your classic Peter Rabbit, massive rabbit um, carrots. So hopefully I attract some rabbits. I love rabbits, um, but we don't have any around here. Hopefully the fox doesn't come and get these. Do foxes eat carrots? Don't know. Anyway, those are my carrots. And then the peas, I've got an early variety of peas, which I can't find the bloody seeds, but I have planted them upstairs, I'll show you in a minute. And I've also got snap pea, um, sugar snap peas. I don't know where I got these from, but these are very exciting. I love snap peas, and I love how you can just pick them off and eat them. Um, so I'm gonna grow these up some trellis in one of my raised beds as well. And I've got some more sugar snap beans there. I told you, I'm a complete seed. You should see how many seeds are here. Like, those are just the ones that I'm actually going to grow. There's like freaking hundreds of packets of seeds. It's like, it's so embarrassing how many seeds I've actually got. Um, right, I'm going to show you the seeds that I have done um, already and started upstairs in case you want to plant some seeds in February. So these are the seeds that I have started in February. Right, so this is where I have decided to plonk all my seeds, which is in my bedroom on a chest of drawers. I had to move everything off it, but you can see it's by the window. We actually get a lot of sun coming through this window, um, more than the back of the house, so that's why they're all here. Right, so in here I have got some onions. Um, this is a red onion variety, and I've just put them into here to get them going. 
Um, I actually don't know what I'm supposed to do with them, but I just saw on Instagram everyone was putting them into modules like that, so I just literally copied it. Didn't even Google it, guys. Didn't even Google. Um, in here, I have got my... This is my early pea variety, so in, there's peas in here. Um, I know you can actually grow them straight into the ground, but I'm not going to do that because I'm just worried that nothing will grow in the plot. <laughs> So I'm going to start them here, give them a little bit of a head start and then take them to the plot and sow them in and just protect them from whatever eats peas. Um, these are my sweet peas in here, I'm growing them in um, toilet rolls this year and the reason I'm doing that, I'm going to do the same with my sweet corn as well, is because I know from when I've grown them before, they really don't like the roots to be disturbed so I'm hoping that I can just pick up the whole thing and put it in the ground and then I don't have to like bother the roots and like make it not grow. Um, in here I've got my cosmos, so um, the cosmos seeds need to be like, can I take it off without killing them? Yes I can. Um, they need to be like scattered really thinly, so I have scattered them thinly, on one side is my dwarf and the other side is the normal variety, so no sign of them either, I did only plant them like two days ago guys, so it's fine. Um, in here I've got sweet pepper, so I've got the Californian variety which is um, red and green and I've just got some um, what's it called, cling film over the top to kind of keep it insulated, nice and cosy. And then I've got the sweet pepper astil variety which is yellow pepper. Um, in here I've got my cucumbers, I am starting them a little bit early but I'm just worried they won't grow so, and I really want cucumbers this year. So I've got them again under the cling film to keep them nice and cosy. And the final one is my black eyed seasons, here they are. So I think there's two seeds per pot in here and there's one seed per pot in there. And again, these pots I got ages ago, my mum brought them for me and they could just go straight into the ground, but I think I might have to pot those on or something. But yeah, they are really good. Um, but I think they're kind of the same as toilet rolls, to be honest. So there you go, guys. That is all the seeds that I'm going to be planting at my allotment plot um, this year. And obviously I've got them all going here just behind me, sorry my bedroom is still like in the process of being like decorated, so anyway, but yeah, there they all are, come on, grow babies, grow, so yes, I hope you enjoyed the video, if you did, subscribe to my channel, leave me a comment below, let me know what seeds you are planting, or if there's anything that I should be planting now that I'm not planting now, please let me know, because obviously I am new to this, um, I've never really grown on this scale before, I'm going to try succession growing as well, so what I'm starting early now, if it's too early I will be planting more if that makes any sense um, to try and get like a second lease of life out of the plot, I don't know I'm going to give it a go, you should give it a go too if you're not gardening I would love to hear your stories if you're going to give it a go just plant something on your kitchen side or something because it is amazing and it will change your life um, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video where fingers crossed I will be at the plot planting in those dahlia tubers and the other ones which are called, which are called gladiolis. See you next time guys, bye.